evening guys this is sumaya welcome back to my youtube channel so today in this video we are going to learn about how to insert a linear profile light in the facade we received a request from one of our subscriber mr jilly he sent me this images and asked if i can make a tutorial on this now this is a linear profile light on the projected surface of the facade there are few more images that's that's nice so let's get started i have made a sample model of the facade first i drew made the story placed some apertures okay then these are the extrusion volumes the projected areas and even the back portion of this is an extrusion volume and then i imported few trays so this is about the 3d model of the facade now let's start with the lighting part first thing when do we use the linear profiles in the facade we use linear profiles in the facade to highlight the architectural element of the facade like you can use it when you have some projected areas like this and and there's a few more images in which you can use your linear profiles okay first thing is we need to select the is file so here I'll will go to the CMS website. CMS lighting. Products. Then you have continuous line. Click here. Under continuous line, you have three different sections. One is with 0.5 meters. One is 1 meter and next is 1.5 meters. So depending upon the length on where you need to use your linear profile, you can select the IES accordingly. So here I have already placed the linear profiles. It's of 0.5 meters, but I'll show you how to import it and then place. So we'll first measure the section in which I need to place the linear profile. I need to place on this projected area. So we'll measure it. We'll go to the side view and measure. Okay, it's 7.5. So I can do one thing. I can use uh, up to 7 meters, 1 meter profile and then for 0.5 meters, 0.5 profile. Also we'll check the height of this one. Okay, 8 meters. So that will be easy if I take 1 meter prof IES file. So I'll go to the website and download continuous line 1 meter full class. Next thing you have to choose is the CCT here. Let's go for, for now 4000 Kelvin. Okay, on the left hand section you can get the ULD file and also the IES file. In this case, we'll choose IES file. It is better to choose IES file. Click on IES file and it's downloaded. Then to import your IES file, go to the light section, import luminaire file, choose your IES file. Next, okay. In this section, the first thing you have to observe is the width of your IS file. So this is 30 mm, which is good. So what happens is if the width of your IS file is very less, say it is 0 0.01 or 0 0.02 mm, and you're placing it in the facade, later when you're doing the calculation part and doing the renders, your rendered image or the effect is too blurred, okay? It is not exact linear profile effect so the first thing you need to consider in this case is make sure the width is at least 30 mm or if your facade building is small in size okay that time you can consider up to 0 0.02 meters or 20 mm okay 
we can decrease the height so we'll make it 0 0.02 and then mark it finish okay then we have imported our luminar file second important thing is when you're placing the luminar file in the facade make sure you go to the side views and then place it so what happens when you place this when you go to the side views and place it gets exactly placed to the section you want it suppose if you're placing in the like keeping it in the 3d model itself then it may not be placed properly so better go to the side views and then place then go to the draw line arrangement okay your first point will be here place your first point here and then the second point here the length was 8 meters so we'll place 8 luminar files here 8 enter and you can see it is properly placed I'll go to the plan view check for the light distribution so it is at the opposite side we'll rotate it and make it little front so that the light distribution starts from exactly from the projected area okay as you see here my IAS is properly placed on the projected area itself like this one because we went and placed in the side views okay now we'll draw it on the other side as well draw line arrangement okay now we'll draw it even at the top and the bottom side of the projected area paste to the bottom and you're done save the file okay so this was your second important step properly placing the is file since we have placed all the is files like i did it before we'll run the calculation and check for the result go to the calculation objects i'll make the calculation standard and run entire project Okay, the calculation is completed. We'll make the background black. You can do it using on and off in the sky texture here. You can see the nice overall effect we have got here. The linear profiles properly lit. The third step and the very important step is setting the view. Okay, if you have some knowledge of photography, then the setting of view might be easy for you because there are so many things to consider while setting the view like one point perspective two point perspective previously i made a tutorial on setting the proper views but that was for the interiors i'll make a separate tutorial for setting the proper views even for the facade and exterior in the upcoming tutorials now for now when you finish the calculation and you are setting the views first take a close-up of the facade so what happens is when you take the close-up render of your facade you can evaluate if there is some mistake which need to be rectified in the effect so we'll go and first take a close-up of this facade i have set some of the views previously like this one so i'm taking a close-up you can adjust the brightness for linear profiles it's always better to make the brightness little less so what happens is when you keep the brightness less the effect the light effect from your linear profile the light which is coming out of your profile is more bright so if your brightness is more then the profile light 
is not much bright. So make sure you keep it as minimum as possible, not too dark to make it moderate. Okay, I think this will be fine. You can also play around the settings of the manual and warm white and the cool white. For now, let's make it 4000 Kelvin itself. Okay, we'll save new view. Name the view as view 1. Go to the ray tracer. Let's keep it to HD and check the render. Start ray tracing it. And this is your rendered image. The light effect is really nice. You can see the profile light. It is not broken in the center. Continuous, clean and bright. Okay. I placed some lights in the interior as well. That's why you can see that blue hue coming from the inside. But if you're not placing the light inside, it will be totally black. Okay. So we'll close this. Okay. Then, well, obviously you will need a complete render of your building to show the overall view of the lighting effect. So the next very important thing is setting the proper view and render. So go and set the view again. To set the view, you can zoom accents. Then use your left mouse key to rotate it. Okay. Then zoom in. Make sure it's at eye level. See, imagine yourself to be in this place and you're seeing the building. Okay. So you'll exactly look up, right? It's straight and you look up. Similarly, you have to imagine and save the view. Okay, set a view such that uh, wherever you see this missing lines, these are and all are not visible. So all the linear light effect should be properly visible in your view itself. Okay, so for that you can use your right mouse key, hold it and zoom in or zoom out to properly set it. Like now it's perfect. I can zoom in a little bit more. Yeah, I think now it's perfect. Don't worry if the sum of the borders is missing. We'll do it in the render properly. So now the linear will go. If you want to make some changes here, you can do. I'll make it 4000 Kelvin. Brightness is fine. So save new view and we'll name this view as view two then when it this is your next important point to note when you're doing the render and your view is not covering the whole section a whole facade whole part of your facade like here if you see my this side is missing my this side is missing what you have to do is go to the ray tracer increase the resolution UWQHD, okay. The, in this resolution, the width of your image is more and the height will be normal. So even the parts which we are missing in the view will be included in the render. So let's check it out. We have increased the resolution and we'll start ray tracing it. And here is your render. So as I told you, even the parts which are missing in the view will be included in the render. This is your final render. This part is visible. And also your trees in the background are visible. Light effect is also perfect. I think we can do one more render. We'll make the view straight. Zoom in. Save new view. Name it as view 3. Go to the ray tracer, make sure the resolution is UWQHD and start ray tracing it. And here you go. The render is done and it's really nice. Proper linear effect without any missing lines of the linears. If you want to change the background, you can do it. You can check my previous tutorials on changing the background.
will close this render close okay next important thing is when you are setting the views okay and if you are taking the side view projection like this make sure here also you are doing it properly because when you are taking it from the side side view some of your linear profile may go you know the effect like it's it's not placed properly like it's missing so make sure you set the view properly it's all in the setting the views properly okay see now it's visible properly if it's like this it's not visible the same is going to reflect in when in your render so make sure in the first place the view is proper okay now it's correct we'll save it so guys this is it in this video you can download my file but it will be available to download only for a day or maybe two so if you haven't subscribed to my channel please do subscribe put on the post notification so that whenever i make tutorials you get notification and you can download my files and if you like the tutorial please hit a thumbs up stay tuned to explore more and dialogues with me thank you